Hi there, it's me again. Um, actually, I'm the one talking. That's Gus Gus. The bur Gus Gus, say hi. Gus Gus says hi. He's the house burner. And Job is the house skipper key. They are the reason that I have spent probably three of the last 75 hours on my work in progress picking black hairs out of it. Anyway, there's my workstation. I, it's, I've still got about 10 more hours to do on my Mariana work in progress. And, but I thought I wanted to do another video just because I'm stalling for time, basically. Um, I wanted to show some of my works in progress today. These are my parents. I'm their work in progress. This is actually just here because I'm looking for a new frame. I got some of my works in progress out of storage and the frame that I had on one of them looked cool many years ago, but now the faded Winnie the Poohs just aren't working for me. So I'm trying to reframe it. This is the one I'm trying to reframe. It's one that I did. I designed it myself, actually. You can probably tell by the fact that it's off center and it's just kind of not really done. But it's one that I did during a very hard point in my life. And that's one of my favorite Bible verses. Uh, my grace is sufficient to sustain you, I believe, is the rest of it. I guess for a favorite Bible verse, I don't have it memorized as well as some others, you know, like... Um, for he has shown thee, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of thee but to do justice and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Another favorite verse, that's Micah 6, 8. I haven't stitched it yet, though, because there are a lot more words. Anyway, um, but this is the one that I'm trying to reframe, and I want to hang it up here somewhere. But um, And you can see how now, you know, 10 years later, I'm like, yeah, the Winnie the Pooh just doesn't go with the art of it. So... That's one of my completed works. Did I say works in progress? I'm sorry, I meant completed works. Anyway, that's one that I designed. The ones that I've designed aren't as fancy as some others. This one, this one is old and battered and faded and the frame needs washing. It hung in my kitchen for years. What's so special about it to me is when, oh my goodness, I'm really going to have to clean this frame up. This is terrible. Um, when I was 16, my parents took us to Europe for their 25th anniversary, I think it was, and they wanted us to see Europe and things, which is a real blessing. You know, at the time, I was more like, Europe? But um, anyway, I stitched this across Europe, and I remember, I still remember to this day, you know, 30 years later, sitting in O'Hare Airport working on that berry jam jar and thinking, well, I'll never be finished with this. So even though this is just your pretty typical kind of strange looking sampler, it has a lot of meaning to me for that reason. And that's one of the things I love about cross stitch, how when you go back and look at them years later, you're not just looking at the piece, but you're looking at all of the memories that you stitched into it when you were working on it. My, okay, we'll move that, and we'll move my poor parents here, who probably don't want to be on YouTube. And this is the other completed thing that I've gotten out to show you. This is, um, it's probably my favorite. My husband asked me to take it down because it does look more suited to a nursery than a, a kitchen or someplace. And so I, I caved, even though I'm not one to cave normally. But um, this one, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a Paula Vaughn. And I think it's called Tea on crazy quilt something like that but anyway I like it because I love teddy bears and I like all the I love colors and this just has so many wonderful riotous colors and this is the first one I believe that I worked that used a lot of half stitches throughout up top so anyway it's not as exciting as Mariana and I promise I'll be back in a couple of days with the progress on Mariana but for now I just wanted to take a little time and prove that yes I have done some cross stitch in the past I promise I've got about I've got another 40 completed works somewhere, but they're packed in different boxes, and I haven't dragged them out yet. But these are some of my favorites, and they're meaningful for different reasons. This one is meaningful because it's the first one I stitched with my new initial, right after I got married, the C instead of the B. So, and over time, I fixed my logo so that I have, a, I worked the C into it, but anyway. This is, I just wanted to give you a view, and apparently now the house burner and the house skipperky are having a fight, so I'll go break that up. 
Have a good rest of your day.